Today we are looking at a very unique clipper, model Super X297D. This unit has all of the features of the larger Super X29D and Super X298D. However, this unit is a seven series. The unit ends in a seven. And so this unit is equipped with all of the features of the large mills, but it is in a very small, compact package. The unit is in very good shape overall. The unit has been brought into the shop, fully serviced and checked over. The unit is in great running condition and is ready to go to work. You can see here we went through and changed what parts needed to be changed, such as new hangers, new V-belts, things of that nature. Like I said earlier, the unit is in good overall condition and is ready to go to work. The unit is equipped with a single phase electric motor. This can be changed at the buyer's expense, but that's how we set this up for now. The unit is in very, very good condition. We're going to fire the unit up for you now. Here you can see we have the unit running. The unit is in very, very nice condition. Just hums right along. There are no irregular noises. See the eccentrics here. like clover, vegetable seeds as well. Here's a look at the sector gearbox. This has been opened up and serviced by us with new seals, ready to go to work. The unit is in very, very nice overall condition. Take a look here at the traveling brush. Loaded with screens. Everything is as it should be on the unit. The unit is preset at the factory parameter for the shoe shake. The shoe shake should never exceed. 410 RPM. I'm now going to discuss the bushel per hour capacity of this unit. On grains such as rye and wheat, the unit is 60 bushel per hour to 110 bushel per hour. On products such as corn and beans, the unit is rated at 85 to 165 bushel per hour. I want to now talk about the rarity of the Super X297D. These units were never categorized by serial number, but the best we can tell there was about five to seven of these units made. And here at Commodity Traders International, we have four of them counting this unit you see in front of you. 
if anyone were to have these units out in circulation still, we would be very interested to talk with you and possibly purchase the units. I want to be very clear with these units, even though there were very few of the 297s made, all of the parts are readily available. All of these parts, such as the lower fan, the lower counter shaft, the eccentric shaft, all of those parts and pieces cross over to the larger machinery. So parts for these units are still readily available, even though there were very few of the Super X 297Ds made. I'm going to now go over all of the features of this unit. This unit is equipped with a roll feed hopper in great condition. This allows for even metering of your product into the screening area and the air cleaning area as well. This unit is equipped with a top and bottom air. The top air does 80% of your cleaning before you ever get to the screening surface. This unit has the variable speed eccentric. That means you can vary the speed anywhere from about 380 to 410 RPM on the eccentric shaft. It has the variable speed lower fan, which is a very nice feature. This unit is equipped with quick change screens, as all clipper machines are from this vintage. And the unit is also equipped with the traveling brushes. The unit also comes equipped with a sector gearbox, which has a very, very long lifespan. These units are very well made, very good machines with several of the large machine features in a very small compact package. These units only require a five horsepower electric motor. So these units can be ran on single phase or three phase, of course. Please see all of our other videos for all other seed, grain, and feed processing equipment. Thank you for watching.